Today, I'm going to be reviewing all of the new items that were added on the special orders board in the 1.5 update. All of the items on the special order board can only be gone from there, so you'll have to choose between which one you decide to accept. So knowing which one of these items are worth anything is super important. And one of these items is truly one of the most game-changing items that has ever been added to Stardew Valley. So make sure you stick around to find out which one that is. I'm gonna try and not talk about like exclusively just like the min-max uses of these items, you know? If they're useful as decoration, if they have some situational use, I'll definitely talk about that. So that's why I didn't put them in like S, A, B. I have like amazing, great, situational, pretty useless, and just straight up trash. Let's go in the order that the wiki has them. Let's start off with the Geode Crusher. So the Geode Crusher you get from completing Clint's special order, which I believe is not super easy. It's like 50 of the following. Oh no, it is easy. Bats, Dust Sprites, Skeletons, or Grubs. What the Geode Crusher does is it basically just automates Clint's process. You can put a geode inside of the geode crusher and then once every single hour it will output something and all it costs is one coal so you put a coal and a piece of coal and a geode in there and then an hour it will crack it open as opposed to bring it to clint's or a 25g now this item is kind of strange right because if you use it for its intended purpose it is actually one of the worst items that was ever introduced to, into this game because as a lot of people probably learn like you know these special Special order items, they're at least like mid to end game items that you'll unlock when you'll be able to A, you'll be able to complete the special orders, and B, you don't unlock the special orders board until fall of year one at the, at the earliest. And as you'll learn, coal is one of the most valuable resources in the entire game. I personally am always running out of coal to the point that I buy it in like huge numbers. And coal is a lot more expensive than just 25G. In fact, it's like at least 10 times that, I believe, right? Yeah, it's 250G in, in year two. And it takes an hour. So it's a waste of time in every single respect. If the item worked completely as intended, I would say it's like absolute trash. But the uh, Geode Crusher actually has a really strange exploit that was definitely not intended, but a lot of like speedrunners and min-max users can use their advantage and, and you can as well. So when Clint is opening up geodes, if he opens up a geode and you get something desirable, right? Let's say, for example, you get like a prismatic shard from cracking open a geode. Every single geode from then on that you open up in the geode crusher will give you that item. It's like a weird, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's like some weird exploit. And I think you have to do something else, but it's possible and it's very easy to just exploit to get the same items from geodes over and over and over and over again and to dupe items in giant qualities so for that reason i want to put it in situational because it's actually pretty trash um but like in situational uses it can be useful okay next one is what is this called deluxe red double bed this is what you get for completing robin's special order in which you must collect 80 hardwood in a single day in a single week sorry i mean the bed looks kind of cool i'll put it in pretty useless i don't think it really needs any further explanation than that it's not it's not the coolest looking bed but it's definitely better than like trading away your pearl for a, a double birch bed i don't know the red is kind of nice it's kind of growing me you know what i'll put it in great next up we have the coffee maker evelyn's quest collect and then place 11 leaks into the uh bridge and the coffee maker is pretty simple all it does is it gives you a single cup of coffee every single morning this item is pretty useless okay getting a single cup of coffee in the morning is like 300g worth of value and that is pretty useless to me i mean i guess having the coffee is nice the mid game you should probably be buying a bunch of coffee so you can get around quicker and in the end game a lot of the time like i have my uh, hot java ring on so i just like have way too much coffee than i ever know what to do with and having an extra piece and like is actually like a huge hassle it, if you're gonna use it for anything it's like aesthetically nice that'd be the only thing i could see i mean i guess having the coffee every single day is nice but like it's something that you should be planning for anyway because coffee is such a valuable resource next up we have the monster musk and the monster musk is one of the most annoying quests to do so much to the point that i've never actually legitimately done it i'm just gonna be honest with you guys chat there's not a lot of uses in which you would want to use this but in the times that you want to use this this it is very it's invaluable like you know when you go through skeleton caverns day in day out you're not going to want to use the monster mask but when you are needing to spawn enemies in mass quantities if you're trying to finish your adventurers guild quests or if you're trying to get a rare drop from one of the enemies or um th those are the only two situations i can think of <laughs> but 
Regardless, I think it could still be a useful item. So I guess I'll put it in situational. I I'll put in great. Okay, the bone mill is trash. Bone mill sucks. I have never used this thing once, and the quest to get it is super annoying. It's collect 100 of any combination of bone items. I don't know why you would ever use this item. Basically, the way that it works is that you can put any sort of bone item, and here are all the bone items here, into the bone mill, and it'll output these like high quality fertilizers. Okay, the chances of you getting any of these bone items besides the bone fragment is so insanely low. And the bone fragment, you should probably be saving for like crafting purposes for like other things like hyper speed grow and like, you know, anything else that you could craft in the bone fragment. Okay, the mini shipping bin. Mini shipping bin, what's the quest for this one? Harvest, then ship 100 of one, depending on the season. Yeah, this is a pretty easy quest. The mini shipping bin is amazing. If you don't know, it is a second shipping bin, or second and third, because you can get two, a uh, shipping bin that you can place anywhere. You can place it like a furniture item. It's not like a uh, building where you have to place it somewhere. You can place it like a furniture item, so it can be placed inside sheds, inside farms, anywhere. Uh, the only caveat is that you can only have nine slots to sell within it. It's really good for putting inside of your barns and your coops because I find a lot of the time like there's a lot of different things that you need to sell. Cheese and the cheese there's all the cheeses have different qualities and then there's eggs and all the eggs have different qualities and all the goat milk goat cheese has different qualities and so on and so forth. It could also be great to like just throw in a shed and if you're processing a bunch of stuff to just plop things in there. If you're processing items like out in like the mountains you can like place them up there and just like sell all of your wine straight from there and you know it's not game changing but it's like super convenient and just really nice to have on hand okay mini fridge mini fridge is great it once you get to like the end game you're just like throwing everything in your fridge anyway like all of your food items and it used to be really annoying especially because uh food items are uh like often different qualities like the ingredients i should say it's easy to place two of these down infinitely expand your uh recipes that you can pull ingredients from which makes this item a total home run you can just like plop things in there I always find that when I'm cooking a lot of the time, I'll have to like just keep running back to my chest over and over and over again. Anyway, yeah, obviously an amazing item. Probably the best special order item, quite honestly. Well, actually, no. I lied. There's a couple that are better. But it's really, really good and extremely convenient. All right, stone chest. The stone chest is an item that confuses me so very much. I do not understand it at all. So when I got the special order quest to unlock the stone chest, I thought, oh, you're gonna get an upgraded chest? Well, I guess you don't know, but I like saw that the reward is a stone chest and I didn't click on the wiki page, but I saw that the reward is a stone chest. That seems awesome. It probably has like double the inventory space or at least another row of a regular chest. It doesn't. It, it does not. It has the same amount of inventory space as a regular chest. And wood is way easier to get than stone. So this is, in fact, inherently worse than a regular chest. Now, I will say that I do prefer the way the stone chest looks to the regular chest. So for that, I won't put it in trash. I'll put it in pretty useless. But this is a total missed opportunity. Fun fact, after the Stardew Valley Cup, we uh, hopped on the phone with Concerned Dave. Concerned Dave asked us, if there's one thing that you could add to Stardew Valley, what would you change? And I said, the stone chest should have one additional inventory slot. And then Concerned Ape said, well, that would be a lot of coding work. And I said, you know, that makes a lot of sense. But I digress. Uh, stone chest is pretty useless. Farm computer, it, farm computer sucks. Farm computer is the worst special order quest they added. I don't know why they f***ing added this thing. This thing sucks. I'm sorry, excuse my French and my language. The farm computer is so useless. I hate this thing. I have never understood this thing. And it is so beyond difficult to craft because you need a dwarf gadget, which who saves those? There are so many like cool things that this thing could actually show. Like even just like fun things like the things that the casino shows, but all this information is so insanely useless. So this is the stupidest item, the biggest missed opportunity in the game. I think everybody crafts this, places it somewhere and never checks it again. I hate the farm computer more than anything else in this game. Also guys, I looked at it and I think the mini shipping bin is probably gonna go down to great. I did, I'm just like looking at what we have up on the horizon and I don't think the mini shipping bin is like that great comparatively. And you know what? I'm gonna put the bed in situational. And you know what? I'm putting the monster musk in situational too. That was a huge upset guys. I understand that, but I thought about it more. And you know, the bed is quite literally situational because it depends on what your build is like though. It's a cool bed. And the monster musk doesn't have a lot of applications and I kind of wanted to put it in situational in the first place. All right, fiber seeds are great. 
Barber seeds are great. They're either great or amazing. It's either top, top of great, bottom of amazing. Basically, if you don't know, fiber seeds allow you to plant fiber. Besides this, there's no other way to really farm fiber and you can plant them in any season, including winter. It's a really easy way to like keep something growing in winter and keep all your hoed spots throughout the season. The big problem I have with fiber seeds is that they are really, really hard to craft in mass quantities. You need a bunch of mixed seeds, which I don't really save mixed seeds very often. And like even if I do I have like 60 of them on hand creating some to like sustain your entire farm is gonna be like extremely difficult Mix seeds are way too hard to like come by in mass quantities. All right, the quality bubber bobber This thing is pretty useless if you don't know it basically just like it ups the quality of the fishes that you catch By the time that you unlock this thing You're probably getting all gold or iridium catches anyway because your fishing level is so high and you're getting perfects on everything Because your bar is so high. I would never use this bobber and I would ne never use it over anything like all of the other bobbers. Also, in the end game, I never fish, so this thing is like pretty useless. The sewing machine. Sewing machine, I will put in great. I think the sewing machine is awesome. It's pretty, pretty simple concept. It just allows you to have access to the Emily sewing machine at home, which allows you to craft clothes whenever you want, which is great. It's very cool. It's very nice to have on hand. And yeah, that's all that there really is to it. It's literally just like a machine that otherwise you have to go walk to Emily's to, and now you can just access whenever you want. It definitely makes you way more inclined to like switch up your outfits because like Emily's doesn't always open at the right times. And like, it's just really weird getting into her house. Like it a lot. It's a great item, and that's really, there's not really much to say about it besides that. The deluxe fish tank. The deluxe fish tank is, I, I don't know, situational. It's a cool looking fish tank, and uh, it fits a lot of fish. I, I don't know what else to really say about this. It's a fish tank. But just let us put fish tanks outside, concerned you. Just let us put fish tanks outside. Now, the last two items are both incredible. Uh, I'll start with the mini obelisk. So, if you don't know, the mini obelisk is an item that you can place on your farm and it'll allow you to instantly teleport to anywhere else on your farm. Now, of course, this is not like beyond game changing, but it is really nice to like maybe have it right by your barn door and then be able to teleport all the way down to the cinder sap forest exit. It's really cool and it's a lot of fun to use. Um, it's great for builds, especially if, like, if you have really complex builds. It's great for being easily able to navigate around your farm. It's also great if you have like some area that you need to check very frequently, like say because of efficiency sake, you have all your crops over here and then you can put in your bottom left corner, you have like all of your sheds and you just instantly teleport to your sheds when they're ready. Very, very cool though. I guess it'll probably be under the mini fridge because it's a little less convenient. And finally, we have the solar panel. The solar panel is without a doubt Probably the best item that was added in all of 1.5, special orders be damned. The solar panel is truly one of the most incredible and beautiful items that was ever added to this game. It has really, really slow output, I will say that, but it is pretty much the only way to consistently farm battery packs, which are insanely valuable in the end game. Solar panel is like so useful because battery packs can be used in both iridium sprinklers and crystallariums. Crystallariums being the big ones because you want like huge, huge amounts of quantities of that because you can place them anywhere on your map, right? And besides like just hoping you get a lot of battery packs from lightning rods, there's no real consistent way to farm or there was no real consistent way to farm battery packs until now. You can place a bunch of these in the desert and then like be able to get as many crystallariums as you want. So this is without a doubt one of the best items ever added into the game And if you're not using it, you're definitely missing out. The solar panels are amazing So yeah, well, maybe I should order these tiers uh, Okay, we can put the bed here and that there geode crusher is quite literally the definition of situational I feel like the fiber seeds might be an amazing and the mini obelisk might be in great quite honestly I it's, the mini obelisk is pretty nice. You know, I'll keep it at amazing and I'll also have a big amazing tier because all of these items are extremely valuable. Monster must can even help you reach the monster slayer goals. That's exactly what a situational- That's what the word situational means, chat. That's the- That's- It's- It- It-, it, it That's what I'm saying. It's in the situational tier. You're describing situational uses. Monster Musk is lower than the Geode Crusher. If you can name four things that you could, situational uses that you can use the Monster Musk for, I will put it above the Geode Crusher. Dragon's Teeth? Okay, you know what? Dragon's Teeth, that's a good point. I'll put it above the Geode Crusher, okay, chat? Okay, are you satisfied now, chat? 
That was all you wanted? These tiers aren't even really ordered. That was all you wanted? You didn't even want it moved up a tier or anything? Fight for what you want. Go for gold. Don't bail out at bronze. I'm not moving it, but come on, at least give me some pushback. <laughs>